Hello everyone, the Avgeek here. Welcome back to another review video. Today I'm connecting you guys with a review on the Alaska Airlines 737-800 and the new 2016 livery. And I gotta say, good job Alaska on your new livery. Looks amazing, I love it a lot. So as always, we'll start off the box, review the model, give you guys my personal opinion, and then I also have some more announcements to make at the end of this video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. For the box, it's just your traditional Jenna Jets box. You have Jenna Jets, made of four collectors by collectors, the computer generated version of the model up front, Boeing 737-800, Alaska Airlines. Got the airplane on the side, just some information. Airplane on the side once again. More information on the back. You get the airplane climb on the back, Jenna Jets logo, as real as it gets. You have your Alaska Fresh License product, Boeing Fresh License product. Open up the cover up here. You have all your specs inside. Y'all can pause the video. But that is pretty much it for the box. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I love this livery. It looks amazing. Good job, Alaska, on it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what you guys don't like about it or like about it. Or if you guys just like what it period or just totally don't like it at all. So we'll start front as always. So you got your cockpit windows, nose cone, nose cone line, got a couple stack ports up here. You have your identifier up front, aircraft identification which reads 583. And then on your nose gear door it reads ETOPS. 563, which is the identification number, dash 800, which is the type of aircraft, 737 dash 800. Nose gear, very detailed. You have your L1 boarding door, also detailed. Next to it says, Welcome aboard. You have your new smoothed out Alaska titles. I like it a lot. Got a stack port here and down here. And then you have your leaning edge light. And then you have your CFM 56 engine. This is also very detailed. It's got the red lines and the caution marks and everything like that. And then you have your, your lime green, your light blue, your dark blue, and your gray on the bottom. It's just amazing. You have your engine mount. You have your over the wing escape hatches, over wing escape arrows, you have the fuel tank outlines here, slats, flaps, aileron right here, and then you have the split cylinder winglet with the, their new livery on them, just looks amazing. Then you have your registration, number 563 Alpha Sierra. And then next to that, you have the American flag. And then you have your amazing Alaska tail. I just like how they combine it with the lime green, the light blue, the dark blue, the somewhat dark blue. But it just looks really good. Next, you have your rear door, also very detailed. And then you also, right here, have your alien run, I mean, excuse me, elevator trim tabs right here. You have the Eskimo on the tail, horizontal stabilizer, and then your APU exhaust right here. Turn it over to the other side. You have your cockpit windows, nose cone, nose cone line. Got a couple of PO tubes up here. Boeing, proudly, Washington, I believe, is what it says, something like that. Nose gear, nose gear door, 563-800 E-tops. You have your front door, very detailed. You have antenna right here and here. Don't know what the CLE dot is. Must be some sort of antenna of some sort. You have a stack port right here and here. Front cargo door, smoothed out Alaska titles. I like their new titles. Looks amazing. You have your leaning edge light, 
CFM 56 engine, also very detailed. You have your over the wing escape hatches, over the wing exit arrows, leading edge, fuel tank outline, flaps, and then you're on. And then you have your Alaska Airlines split zone to our wing load, which looks amazing. Once again, registration is number 563 Alpha Sierra with the American flag. And then down here, right here, you have your rear cargo door. Rear door once again. And then you have the Eskimo on the tail and your horizontal tail. You have an antenna here, weather antenna, and rotating beacon as well. You have windshield wipers on there as well. And then, quick look at the front you have your inboard lane lights right here and here. Um, your CFM56 engines. The blades are pretty far back actually. I'm not sure why they put them so far back. But it's on both ends. They did it on the United too. They're just putting the blades on the engines way far back. But, I mean, there's nothing pretty much else. So, flipping over to the bottom right quick, you have your nose cone line 800, which is the aircraft type, 73 800. Nose gear, nose gear doors. The nose wheel does roll. You have another weather antenna on the bottom here, cargo door. I like I love how the fuselage is pretty much all one piece here. I like that a lot more so you don't have those gaps here and up here. But you have a couple RAM air intakes right here and here, landing lights, China Jets logo, very detailed engines on the bottom, stand hole, rotating beacon, the holes where the wheels go in, another weather antenna. The wheels on the rear do roll as well. And then you have the bottom of the wing. Very detailed. Well, I guess they could put, could put a little more detail into these outlines, but oh well. And then you have your tail, vent right here, skid plate, and your APU access door. But that is pretty much it for the model. In my opinion, this is probably one of the best models I've ever received. And on the quality scale, I would give this model a 9 out of 10. This is just an amazing model, very detailed, very awesome, and I would highly recommend to get it. You can still get this model on GenoJets.com for $39.95 or something like that, something ridiculous. I don't know why the price of the 737 is going up, but it is. It was the same thing with the United and the um, Alaska, I mean, excuse me, no, the American 737 800 the TWA Retro Livery. So, price is going up, don't know why, but it's alright. Pretty cool model anyways, it's definitely worth the money. And also, some more announcements is that I do have some more model reviews to do. I have to do reviews on the Delta A321, the... Delta 737-800, the Alaska 737-800 with the O livery with the lay on the back, the Horizon CRJ-700, and that is it. And I will be gone pretty much almost the entire month of July, and I will try to get a video out to you guys, but it will be hard because some of the time I will be camping most of the time, and I will not have the internet to upload a video. So I'll try to do as much as I can now, and when I do have internet, I'll probably make one later in the month as well. So, just a heads up for you guys. Also, I'm almost done with my airport. I only have to do, like, three more jetways, which is the hardest part, and then I'll be done. And I'll begin to do airport updates, so stay tuned for those. And I'm now part of this awesome alliance called the Global Airport Alliance. Very cool. It's a website where all airport builders and collectors can gather on this one website and basically interact with each other and you will have an airport route between your airport and somebody else's airport so it's very cool so I'll be doing 
airport updates with that as well, so stay tuned for that. And as always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.